Okay, well, it seems that we've got some concerned residents over in Surrey and Delta in Canada because the authorities, aka Antichrist, are spraying their communities with insecticide to supposedly kill the gypsy moth. But in actual fact, they're poisoning these communities and I would not be surprised if these communities begin to get very sick over the next three to six months because I can only imagine the concoction that is being sprayed over these people. And this is because people refuse to actually understand their situation and the extent of corruption that they are dealing with and the extent of evil that they are dealing with. And suddenly we have these communities being sprayed for the gypsy moth. Now I've done some numerology on the name and that equates to 11. I went and had a look all about the gypsy moth and there is a lot of fuckery around the gypsy moth. It was basically released in Massachusetts and apparently from a few moths we now have this many invading the country. Now the interesting thing about this moth was also when I did the numerology on Massachusetts it was quite an interesting number okay and I've done the numerology on those towns as well and they're just as interesting and we have the number 33 so I would be very concerned if I was these residents we've now got number 11 and now the number 33 with where this moth was released and they're using this moth as an excuse to spray all of your communities. Now, divine men and women are also symbolized by the butterfly. And so the moth is the way that the Antichrist attack divine men and women, which is the knowledge that they have stolen from divine man and woman and are using against mankind including divine man and woman who are still unaware of this situation because that time in the cycle has not yet arrived but it is approaching and it is fast approaching when you see them spraying openly and this is because they're getting the cattle nice and weak for the blind side nice and sickly for the blind side because they don't really want to have to contend with what is left after that and so they weaken the cattle now they have less to deal with later but that is where it is all going and so these people have every right to be concerned they should be out there with their pitchforks yeah that's just not something that you should be accepting in your communities being sprayed. And, you know, we've got the number eight here as well. We've got um, the number 34 associated with Surrey. 34 is a number associated with hell and um, also the physical the other town, Delta, that reduced to a 15. 15 is the card of the devil, again, symbolic of consciousness trapped in matter, spirit trapped in matter, and basically they're just laughing. They're just saying, ha, 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 we can do this to you and mentally trap you in this delusion and then laugh at you when we play all of these events on you all of these false flags all of these you know different 
attacks that they are enacting upon mankind and mankind are just standing there and doing nothing. You'll have some concerned residents, but the rest will just be, well, the government knows best. Government knows best. They would never hurt us. They will never harm us. And that is the worst mentality to have because that is their only goal is to annihilate you. You have become a burden and you are going to be removed because they want to destroy creation and what they cannot inherit and they want to take as many out with them as they can. That to them will be their success. That to them will be their fuck you to God. We fucked as much of your creation as we could and we killed as many of your creations as we could. You know, that is their mentality. People have to understand what we're dealing with. And this is the problem. People just don't. This is why so many people are just not going to do very well in these times. And so we have them openly spraying over there in Delta and Surrey. I would be very concerned if I was you. And I would definitely be taking steps to protect yourselves, either move from your areas or when they're spraying, at least put a towel underneath the, you know, door and where it's, you know, the gap underneath the door. Put a wet or a damp towel just under there until they stop spraying. And don't go out in it if they're spraying. Even with these chemtrails, if you're in areas where they're chemtrailing, Avoid going out there if you can because they are going to start putting nasties in all of these sprays now. It seems that this is the time that they are going to start moving ahead with all of that. And we also see this in Sydney, Australia. April Fool's Day, a mysterious fog just moves into the harbour and that's okay with everybody. That's okay that everybody just, you know, thinks a mysterious fog floating through the city and nobody questions it and why was it caused and where did it go and there's just nothing, no information, just that it was a big mystery. Well, I'm telling you, people better start wising up to what these mysterious fogs are. They're fumigating us like cockroaches. And April Fool's Day, for those that understand the esoteric information, the Fool's card, zero, represents the creator, God. And I've already done information about April Fool's Day and Easter symbolism. So if you want to understand April Fool's Day more and why they've done this on April Fool's Day and used this as a day to poison some people, then go and look at my Easter videos where I've, I've explained that. So we've also got these mystery dust storms sweeping the earth. Okay. Now I'm not saying they're not happening. I'm saying just be careful of what they're adding into them. Especially China, got a lot of you over in China they want to get rid of, okay? Weaken you guys over there and um, have less of you to deal with. I mean, all of these areas, India too, where you're highly populated, anywhere that they're here, India, Pakistan, okay? Yeah, anywhere there you should be careful. All right, they are just poisoning you and they can get away with it. You've got really, really lax medical facilities and your government is fully corrupted. I mean, India couldn't be any more corrupted. I mean, they are sickening to the core with corruption. The UK, the same. Um, you know, any of these highly populated places, I mean, China, you are just really a absolute lawless country you are completely controlled i see so many horrible disgusting things being enacted by humans uh, onto their children over in china and i 
see the Daily Fail publishing these articles and I know the Daily Fail are paying these people and these people would do this for money. They would put their children in harm's way for money and Daily Fail buy it and then they use it for clickbait but they also love to condition the hive mind with all of this disgusting ritualistic fucking shit. Because what shits me with the Daily Mail is that these fuckers will give you all of these articles about that Kardashian slut and that Slags family, but then the next article will be about children that have just been blown to bits over in Yemen or over in bloody Iraq. And this seems to be okay with people that this, oh shit, fucking rag can do this can what are they are they celebrity or are they news you know i mean make your mind up because how can you be a proper journalist platform and the reach be so huge and i mean people say what you will about daily mail their reach is huge this is why i pay attention to them they millions okay feast upon this shit and this is because they provide it. They provide everything. Sex and, oh my God, the amount of sex freaking articles they and Huffington Post and Time put out and, uh, you know, fa you know, the celebrity and um, anyone that's famous and fashion. I mean, it's just, it's sick. It's sick. And then you have these people doing serious journalism. We're actually looking at serious, you know, articles from these same outlets. It's just sick. It's sickening. The world is sick. The world is insane. Because I have to do this, the world is insane. I don't care if people don't want to identify that. That is not my problem. It is insane that people are taking their information all from this fucking rag when they are dealing with such issues, political issues like 315 children being killed or children being blown to bits by a bomb in Iraq, which is what they reported on yesterday, and the children were actually shown. They showed the children. We're now starting to see these pieces of shit showing the children blown up. And I mean, why do we need to see that? Do we really need to see that? And I'm not talking whether it's about being gruesome or anything. It's about respect. It's about respect, isn't it? It's about respect. It's somebody's child. You know, it's a human. It's not just something to look at and go, oh, wow. So this is what's sickening me. People are just being dumbed down and desensitised now, like seeing children bombed to pieces on daily fails is completely normal. This is what they want to desensitise everybody to. Well, sorry, you won't fucking desensitise me to that shit ever. And anyway, so I'm just warning people, all of this stuff... You know, all of these dust storms, just be careful because they are putting shit in them, okay? You people over here, really, you need to be so careful. You really need to be taking steps to protect yourselves. What I've just found in the names, encoded into these names, I would probably move from these areas because when they actually start dealing their cards in the last hand, okay, they have it already scripted, all right? Every place in America was not randomly put there, all right? Go and start looking at your coordinates and looking at the names and doing the numerology on the names and you'll see what I'm talking about, all right? You'll then understand why more Freemasons live in Texas than they do anywhere else, okay? So that's not just random. There's reasons. There's a reason behind why that occurs and it's only when you understand the esoteric information and the knowledge, knowledge that they're working in that you start to see just what the script entails and it's a lot of ugly for a lot of people if they don't wake up and that's why it's time to you know you gotta wake up you just have to so I'll just be talking until you do People of Surrey and Delta, please be concerned about this. 
And anybody else where you start seeing them spray for, you know, moths or any insect, yeah, be concerned, be very concerned, okay? Because the people that are doing this spraying are not necessarily evil. They don't understand what they're actually doing themselves, okay? So you have to see that it goes to a lot larger picture than just, you know, your local person that's spraying something. I mean, they're getting their chemicals all delivered to them from certain places. So they don't know what they're really spraying or they're really putting in the environment. So people have to identify the enemy. That's what it comes down to, okay? Your enemy is the government. It's not each other. All down tools. And everybody identify the enemy. That's what we've got to come to. And, oh, my God, we never will. I know we won't. So I'm just saying that that's just what we're supposed to do. Okay, down tools and just, yeah, identify the enemy. But even if you can't down tools, at least identify the enemy and stop fighting amongst each other and bickering over just shit. Because really it's just shit when we're dealing with something which is, you know so much more important and such a bigger picture and while we're all fighting amongst each other like little children they're you know laughing and basically poisoning us all and killing us all together okay so when we recognize that we might actually be able to save ourselves from a really horrible death anyway i'll leave it here and um i'll put all of the articles underneath and i'll put the uh, numerology calculator underneath as well and I would suggest that uh, you guys actually look at your towns and the numerology of your name of your towns you know and uh, just really start understanding yeah how they work and uh, how they're going to play the script out anyway I'll leave it here as always peace out